Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to use the Mesh Fill Tool in Corel Draw. Uh, we first need an object to work with, so I'm just going to draw a simple object on the screen. I just have a, a circle here. And then I'm going to come down and I'm actually going to pick the Mesh Tool, the Mesh Fill Tool. Now once you have this tool, you'll notice a grid comes up and in the top left corner you can adjust your grid. Right now I have two sections both going left and right and up and down. Um, from the top number here is left and right. I can adjust how many grids I have going across and the bottom number I can have adjust how many grids go up and down. Now you'll notice with this mesh tool each one of these these contact points has a, a square to signify that that's the edge of the grid, the corner of the grid. Now to use the mesh tool, we're actually going to use these points uh, when we do our paint, our fills. So I'm going to grab however many I want to grab. You can do this um, just by simply clicking the mouse and moving. You want to stay on the mesh tool to do this, but just grab whichever ones you want to use. Or you can click on one, hold down the shift key, and continue to click, and it will actually select multiples. At this point, I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to select the color, and it's going to color the my object along with the nodes that I had selected. So from here I can come through and grab another set of nodes and fill with a different color. And we can go all the way around doing the same thing with multiple colors. So you could have an object that has several different colors and styles simply by grabbing all the different colors on the nodes. Alright, and just for speed's sake I'll grab the rest of them and we'll make them black at the top. Now you'll notice we have the different colors here. At this point I can grab any one of these nodes and move it around to play with my colors and how the colors are kept inside of here. So you can use it to adjust around how you want your colors to display and even skew the actual box. Now you'll notice when you select one you've got these points that come off of it. I'm going to drag them out so you can see them better. These points coming off of this are going to are going to have an effect on how the points around that node are actually shaped. So if I do this it will actually play the colors in a little more that way. Once you have this done you can then, it, you'll notice it blends the colors together with a soft, smooth gradient going between the two. Um, now, I have a very abstract piece here. However, you can, this is just to show you how the colors mesh together and how you can play around and adjust the colors. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi Systems, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332 or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.